Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out Aura Sprints. We're, we're going to do a quick overview and tutorial of Sprints. Now, if you want to check out what Sprints actually does in a quick overview from them, head on over to Aura.pm and click on Sprints. And you're going to see right here the steps to actually know what Sprints does in a quick and easy format. So let's head on over to the dashboard and see what Sprints does. So the first thing we're going to do is head on over to the dashboard and we're going to click on brand new project. So let's click on a new project and we're going to select all templates. Now this little arrow that you see in a circle, like, like this type of circle, is the one that has Sprints. So this one's Scrum. I'm going to use this one. But you also have another option to activate it and I'm going to show you that in, in a minute. So let's just say SAS master two we can select background customize but this video is not about that we're just going to select about sprints and we can also click on include template if you want to have like a quick template also in it just click on that all right guys so this is a quick template that we have and sprints it's up here but before i head over to sprints i want to show you how you can activate it in an already built uh project or anything else anything else that you have selected so let's click on options over here sorry, project settings. And here in, in project settings, you're gonna head on over to add-ons. And here in add-ons, you can activate or deactivate sprints. So those are two ways that you can activate it, from the templates or in already built template or another template that you selected, just click on add-on. All right, so let's head back, back again. And like I said, this is where you head over to Sprints, click up here, Sprints, and we're gonna create a brand new Sprints. Now, before we get started, we're just gonna say, what is Sprints for? So maybe you have a time frame. You gotta do something that needs to be done, and you have a time frame, and you can't focus, or your team can't focus, and they need that really like clear thing that they have to do. What's important, what does it have to be done, and just do it. So in this case, we're gonna create Sprint 1, what duration does this have? One, two, or three, or four weeks? In this case, we're just going to say one week. And when it's done, where do you want it to be placed? In shipped, prioritized, or backlogged? In this case, we're going to say shipped. Choose tasks. So in this place, remember we have the, the template that we used. We're just going to use that one. So we're just going to say UI update. Um, integrations and uh, test all right so we got those added remember we can customize colors backgrounds and all that good stuff so once we have those we can select them all right so let's just select these ones that are important you select the ones that you want once that's done we click we click here on add so let's add these babies and next thing we're gonna have to do is modify this so let's click on each one and it's really important that you set this this right here shows you the effort estimated in story points and business value estimate. So, for example, test. Let's just say it was something really complicated. So let's just say the effort for this, it's going to be like 100 points, right? This is just for testing. And what is the value for this business? So, for example, when we get this piece of the job done, how important is it for the company? So let's just say, you know what? It's just one point so it's super hard and it's only one point at estimated value for the company right so like that one all right close that one integrations same case so we're gonna say you know what the effort for this one is eight and the value for the company is five these are just examples set that the ui update so let's just say you know what it's it's 13 but the estimated value is like 40 you know what people are just asking for this and i want to do it because it's going to Take the company to the next level right and also this one is just really quick select this and this and that's selected so now that we've done that we have an estimated of story points f business value points now we can also view this over here click right here these are all the changes that have been made today but let's click on sprints so here in sprints is where we're at going to actually start this sprint off so once you've selected who is going to for example, members that are gonna work on this, me, and you just add all the members that will work on this. Once you have that done, you select Team Velocity, no finished sprints yet, yet, so we can start or explore or create a brand new sprint. In this case, we're gonna start it, and you can see we're gonna have analytics for this sprint. And in this case, you can see the information over here, and you can see zero out of 134 points. 
it's really important that you set the points first and don't modify later because it's going to mess around with the analytics. So that's important. So let's just, we'll, we'll leave it open so you see what's going to happen. So let's just say, hey, you know what? Integrations was fast and quick. We set it to test. See how it starts modifying over here. And now we got eight out of 134 points. So eight out of eight, everything that's here. And if we change it to done, see now it's like done, cleared and sprints are finishing. So you got, we have seven days left to actually finish this job. So it, it's gonna measure the speed and it's gonna pressure you to actually get the job done, you and your team to finish whatever you said in sprints. So let's just say we finish everything. Boom, boom, boom. And we can open it. We can set some comments over here if we want. You can see this. So this was done in four minutes. Obviously, we just put it there, but if we actually worked on something on a project, it could take hours, days, or even more minutes, and you can see how much time it actually took. And all this time is gonna translate to analytics that's gonna help you take better decisions. So you can leave a comment and say, hey, you know what, the job was actually easy, or it was actually already fixed, and by the time I got there, it was done. So you can set that there. You can also set it back, and if we click on here, right here, you can click on approve also which will actually change it over here. So once that's done, see how easy that was. Let's just say finished. And where do we want to choose where unfinished tasks are? So let's just leave it there. Move, finish sprints, sprint review. And here is sprint review is where we get the analytics of what's going on. Imagine actually working on this like it should, not just this testing purpose. And knowing exactly how you're actually like working along, how your team is working. So just say tracked time. There's no actually time because we did this really fast. Tax, so to reviews, five closed. Updates, you can see moves by. I actually moved it over there. So you have all this information. So if a teammate moves it over there, it was like, okay, he finished it or it was his task and he actually did it. Sprint review, you got velocity shard. See this right here? It was actually pretty fast. Release burn down, epic burn down, accumulated business value, so 94 total value. And like I said, the value is going to help you understand how important is this for, for your company. Sorry. So how easy is this to set up a sprint? I recommend that you guys check it out and actually um, test it and use it because it's really important for you guys to, let's go to backlog, to actually do this. So you can see all the sprints that we started. It's over here on shipped because it's finished. Here on Backlog, you can create as many as you want steps. So for example, testing, testing two, testing software, testing physical product, I mean, whatever you want. And the sprints can be used for anything, not just software. It could be for developers, for even if you're building a house, you could just say you can prioritize everything as long as you know how to set it up really right here. All right, guys, I hope this quick overview of sprints helped you out and lets you take out that fear of using sprints because it's actually pretty easy and pretty straightforward. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SASMaster. See you later.